Hey, hey, what's up, gardening friends? Jeff here, Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? Hope you're good, I'm great. Starting off the vlog, just getting things going out here. I'm getting ready to move some things around. Hey, Toby, you gonna say hi? This lighting's really bad today. Sun's not out, which is actually usually a good thing. So over here, my uh, mosaica, Calathea mosaica, I've been wondering, I was like, what is wrong with this thing? And I came outside and saw Toby laying under the table using it as a pillow. So uh, that mystery solved. Apparently Calatheas make good pillows, except they don't because when you use them as a pillow, you kill them. Did you do that, Toby? Yeah, it's okay. You didn't mean to. Lesson learned there. Toby will lay his head on absolutely anything. I already knew that. So I have this like pile of debris over here I need to handle. Finally got word from the like yard waste company. They will be picking things up next week, like a bulk pickup. So I can go ahead and get this moved and out of here. And then I have just, just a lot of tidying to do. I need to organize these pots, get this fall planter pumpkin thing put away that had some uh, perennials in it. And I've already pulled them and they're potted up and ready to go into the garden at a different time and then i would also like to handle this whole area because it's just it's just everything's just falling apart it's not looking good so that's hopefully what will be happening it's definitely what will be happening sometimes talking through all the things makes it take a long time and then i get kind of like weird and panicky so that's what's going on cleaning and tidying and uh, hopefully planting some stuff up because it's time to get the veggies going down here in those pots and everything and i found some more reeds so maybe i can get that thing wrapped because it is an eyesore even when it's wrapped with the reeds so i don't know i've even been tempted to just say maybe no more like maybe i should just stop doing that the goldfish are big enough i could put them in my tank inside during the um spring and summer and they would be fine but i've for now i'm gonna go ahead and keep this out here because i do like doing the things with the aquatic plants i'll go ahead and start doing stuff Hopefully, in the next clip, it'll be me saying, hey, look how much better everything looks. I don't know, though. Maybe not. We'll see. I'm just going with the flow. Excuse you, Robin. There are a lot of worms underneath the pile, so I was trying to save them. I mean, the Robin's entitled to them. They can have the worms, but I've been pulling them and put them over here in this magnolia planter because, you know, nutrients, but that didn't... They can have them. It's fine. Now I just have to figure out what to do with all of this. The original plan was to just, just go ahead and pull it on down where the rest of the yard waste is, but this is like a lot of loose stuff. I wonder if I should go ahead and put it in like a lawn bag or something, but it's supposed to rain, so I don't really know how that's going to work out because those are paper. Did you go swimming, Toby? You enjoying your pillow there? Just smash my plants down? I could move that and solve that problem in a heartbeat. Hey, Tuck, did Toby get attention? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Did you guys see this video? So that was weird, right? Well, wanted to put out a little bit more content, but just felt like keeping things informal. So that's what happened there. I got this area cleaned up. I uh, put my tarp out and then got this bird of paradise repotted. It was long overdue. It's to a point where I was just having to fertilize constantly to keep this thing going. And uh, I didn't want to do that. That's too much work. So that's not something you should have to do for a white bird of paradise. They're usually something like once you get them planted, you don't really have to worry about them too much as long as they're potted properly. If you feel of some place where you can grow them in the ground, then a whole other story, just put in the ground, you don't even have to worry about them usually, but that was just becoming problematic. So that had to get done. I'm glad it got done. I got my tortoise planter done. I'm gonna do a few more of those because I think I mentioned in that video, I wanna be able to rotate them so that she can like just eat them down, chew them up all the way and then they have a couple weeks to regrow as I rotate them through. So that's what's going on out here. Things are still weird and random and chaotic. It's partially just because the weather's been beautiful today, but um, it's been weird. It like misted all day yesterday, but it was a really fine mist. Like I was okay to be out here, but the cam, not the camera, it wouldn't have been safe for the camera. So uh, it's, that's kind of slowed things down a little bit. And I'm just to a place where I'm just like, I just kind of want to get stuff done. So that's what I'm doing here. I am thinking uh, the bird of paradise are probably gonna go back to these planters. I know I mentioned that I may not do that because I was going to use these planters for my hydrangea trees, but I measured the path down here where those hydrangea trees go. They go kind of along inside this drainage area here. 
and these do not fit. These big blue pointers are too big. So that's not gonna work. So, I mean, that makes the decision of what to do a lot easier since I don't actually have an option, it turns out. Let's go ahead and drop the Bird of Paradise back in those. I also need to repot this plant from hell, the Australian tree fern over here. I think a new pot and a fresh media that doesn't dry so quickly would make a tremendous difference. That's probably the next big thing I want to do out here. But as far as the vlog is concerned, eh, I don't know, I still need to handle this area. I don't really feel like it, so it's kind of nice. I might just like sit at the table and play with my phone for a little while, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, but random update. The fountain electricity and everything started working out here. Just out of nowhere, just started working again. Don't know what that's about. Need to get an electrician out here to figure that out. The lights that are up here randomly came on during a thunderstorm a couple days ago, only for like 15 minutes. Then they turned back off and then I was over here doing some things and I noticed that the little GFCI that's in there was tripped. So I was like, okay, finally I can push that in. I was testing it and there's electric going to it, but the buttons weren't out and I was testing it. Nothing was, I don't know, it's weird doesn't add up doesn't make sense so I need to have a professional figure that one out but it, it's nice to have the water going in Tucker appreciates it because he won't drink out of that unless the water is flowing I don't blame him I mean only fancy water for us right Tucker no not really I just I'll drink out of the tap I don't need a fountain but uh, I got the pothos hung up over here just temporarily I needed them up a little bit higher so they wouldn't be getting too much light as they acclimate to being outdoors and now I'm just kind of looking over here at all this. A bug just flew right into my eyelashes. Uh, yeah. I need to do some tidying. I think it's time to go ahead and move the mule palm back to the other end of the pool where it belongs, and then I'm gonna stick a windmill palm back by that black pot that'll have a little bit of a screen on it, and then tidy. Start getting that space ready to get it going again. I can't really do anything with the pool pond, though, until the electric's working, because I need, you know, filtration and oxygen in there. So, I mean, this is nice and everything, but I'm probably still gonna run an extra, uh, what are they called? An extension cord back here that's plugged in somewhere else so that I don't have to worry about it just randomly turning on and off because once the fish are out here, that won't be good for them. And as far as mosquitoes are concerned, I want water moving. I don't think I'm going to do like the lotus pots this year or the water lily pots just because the mosquitoes were so bad last year. And then those mosquito bits, they just, they weren't working. I tried the dunks, the bits, they weren't doing anything. Like I was like putting quadruple the dosage into the bowls not these but the ones that were staying with the water lilies in them and you can see the larvae just swimming right around them it i don't know maybe they need to update that formula some sort of resistance is formed i don't know i tried three different brands of those sorts of things they weren't working so i'm not going to be doing those this year but i will have something going on over here where the water will be moving but there's a little bit more space and i won't have to worry about there being too much activity on top of the water for the water lilies and then, uh, you know, just the other, this isn't, I don't know what's happening right now. I think I'm just killing time because I just sort of feel like chilling. I don't really feel like working. I'm going to do it though. I'll feel great when it's done. I just I don't really want to. You ever have those days where I'm like, I would rather just sit back and enjoy instead of get up and do. It's one of those kinds of days. The weather's just, it's so nice and it's been so crummy that I'm trying to just take it in and enjoy it. Although I can, those don't look like nice clouds. Okay, I'm gonna shut up and try and get a few things done. This is gonna be crappy for a few days, so I will be kicking myself if I don't get a little bit more done out here. Hey look, I did something. That That's supposed to be like that. I have it sitting on top of that pot just to give it a little bit more height. Then I'm sitting over here at the table. Look at that. Privacy. Very nice. So there is still one issue and it's that well, now the privacy has gone from over here. If only I had more plants to fill in that gap. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I moved the foxtail palm over here and I was like, well, that doesn't, there's no privacy with that. It's just a scrawny trunk. So I went ahead and put my ponytail palm in front of that. I need to cut off the dead foliage from winter time on that fan palm that's down there, but I don't know, it's better. I think the windmill palm looked better there, but it doesn't, in like a week or two, the Eureka palm will be right there and that won't even matter. So this is just, temporary it's like those little puzzles where you move the little squares around to try and make the picture that's my backyard just constantly moving the things around this time of year until they fit into place and find their proper home have to do things slowly so that things don't get burnt out in the sun you saying hi tucker you good boy you good boy yeah there's thunder i know he doesn't like the thunder it'll be okay it's not gonna hurt you still need to go ahead and move this guy back down over there was that? I feel like that. I didn't need to tell you that. I could have just done it and then shown it to. 
<laughs> 15 minutes later, started pouring. It's not as bad right now as it was a few minutes ago. I got my, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. Can you see? Nope, window, too much reflection. Not taking the camera out there. I got the other mule paw moved to the other side of the pool. We'll talk about it in the morning. Hopefully things will be more dry. It's gonna be chilly, but that's okay. Oh, that was pretty. Getting some rain, the air is nice and fresh. The pollen has been so, we'll talk in the morning. It's when things are bright outside. That looks kind of cool. No, bedtime, be right back. Good morning, Blinken. You gonna say hi? Nothing? Were you staring at the step? Okay, weirdo. Hey, Charlie, how you feeling, bud? Feeling better? Not so much? Yeah, you're about to get your medicine. He's not, not gonna be happy about that. Puts the lotion on its skin, or else it gets infected with necrotic and has to lose all of its toes. Okay, you want cookies? You're not supposed to be up here. He's not, I know he'll jump down. He's gonna be like, um, this is confusing. One time exception. I know it's weird, the little one is allowed up here, but not the Charlie, but that's because the Charlie eats people food. The little one doesn't, and Pumpkin refuses to eat off of anything but a napkin, so she gets she gets to break some rules. And Charlie can jump up on all of the counters. Pumpkin cannot. She can only get up here because of these and the bar stools. But he had to. Whoop! You lost one, bud. He had to go to the vet yesterday. He has a couple of ingrown claws. That was rough. That's why I should have just set you back down on the ground. Lesson learned. My bad. Yeah, I guess in his old age, he has stopped sharpening his claws i was petting him like a week or so ago and i noticed i was like um your claws are like really big dude you haven't been filing them down there's scratching posts everywhere and then so i grabbed my like my you know the clippers to cut them and some of the powder just in case you hit the quick and they start to bleed and i was looked at him i was like oh no no the vet's gonna have to do this so got that done now i have to put some ointment on his feet twice a day and he's got pain medication and everything. Hey, Toby. Good morning, Toby. How you doing, bud? He's such a good cat, though. So many cats, it's really hard to give them medication, but he's just like, whatever. As long as you give me treats afterwards, we're good. I know, Toby. The sun's back out. It's nice. It's actually a day and a half later. It just rained all day yesterday and it was like 45 degrees there wasn't anything to do outside but got to take charlie to the vet he's doing well set a reminder in my calendar so i can remember he's got to get his nails trimmed by hand every few weeks so that, that doesn't happen again since he's not sharpening them open the window for him so he can watch the nature channel that's how i draw him in he he sleeps all the time that's why he's not in videos all that often but if you crack that window open he shows up and it's nice enough to get that one. My allergies are kind of bad, but that's all right. He can enjoy the nature for a little while. You too, Pumpkin. Yeah, you too. Why aren't you hanging out in the window? Pumpkin, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Stop it, Pumpkin. That's not for you. Yeah, you better stop. I'm going to take that away. I'm taking it away. Pumpkin is like addicted to tape. So can't have packages laying around because she starts, to, she rubs her face on it. And she loves it. Nope. Sorry, pumpkin. Not for you. Okay. There's the pet update. Nobody asked for it. Don't you start chewing on those too. That's not okay. Go back outside. Time to get back to work. Yeah. I just spent all this time getting this area cleaned up. It's clean, cleaned up. And then uh, I uh, went to get those reeds. I was going to wrap this with reeds and they just fell apart in my hands. So... It was kind of a waste of time, but that's all right. I mean, I needed to get things cleared up over here anyways. There's still like some raking and some little things to do. A very old bag of soil over there that I'm not going to use for the plants. I'll cut it open and spread it up here on the hill where more of my natives are. And uh, now I just need to get over here and start working on the veggies. And other things, there's like, there's some things that have volunteered themselves. There's all these little violas in there and some creeping jenny which doesn't need to be there i still have some of those uh who are you the buried treasure strawberries those lasted pretty much all winter this hydrangea vine that's not really in frame sorry about that just now starting to wake up i'm gonna slide that back over there same thing over here with these virginia creepers but I, these need to be freshened up and i just noticed that there's a serious drainage problem with that pot so i'm gonna go ahead and i guess pull these down or at least that one so i can flip that and get the soil out and fix whatever drainage issues going on there yeah so this pot has just the tiniest little drain holes in it 
And I think that with the others, I had drilled new holes in the bottom. I went ahead and I put a new hole in the bottom of that. Okay, it's not centered. Look more centered in person. Not so much right now. There, that should solve that problem. Now I just need a whole bunch of fresh soil. That soil, that's nasty. Sitting in water that whole time, I don't know. I guess I'll, uh, I'll go find something. Hey, there we go. Finally got that done. So up top, <laughs> the amazel basil is potted up with a large bell pepper. And then there's another pepper over here, bell pepper. I put some snap peas, some vine peas on the back of all these pots. There's the poblano, the one that was in the garage and then grow space all winter. Nothing down here except for the strawberry. And then there is an Anaheim chile there and a Serrano chile down there. And there's still strawberries in both of those. And then I think I'm going to straighten that out and um, I'm probably going to put some corn in there and do some other things. But for now, it's a good start getting things going. Didn't want to wait too long. The longer you wait, the longer it takes to, you know, get your food off of them. So glad those are done and cleaned up and tidied and they have about 50% fresh soil in them. That's really the best I could do this year just because, you know, I'm trying not to go out and buy stuff. So I have to conserve and... It'll be okay. I went ahead and I scooped out half the soil. You can see some of it's over there. And then blended that up with just some uh, starter fertilizer and then some compost and just sort of, you know, tried to enrich it a little bit. And yeah, that should be good. Should do the trick. I need to get cages up on those other peppers, but they're okay for now. They're so little. There's plenty of time. I have like a good month till I need to worry about getting cages on those. But yeah, wasn't exactly able to get everything done that I wanted to over here without having the reeds to wrap things up. That's okay. In a few weeks, the rest of the plants will be here, and then like you, that I won't even be able to see that. So it doesn't matter. It's fine. And this whole area, though, this is starting to bother me. Uh, I've been, you know, doing the rotation, so most of these things are ready to be moved. The little fiddle might need to hang out here a little bit longer. The others, like they're okay. I don't, I don't like the chaos that's happening over here. Tree fern, which is the plant, the bane of my existence, and then the oleander and. You know, I was going to, like, maybe try something unique and fun this year with these planters, but that's kind of a big thing to take on when the, you can't go anywhere and shop in person for the plants. So I'm thinking, like, just, you know, from here and over, that, like, even just staging things up better would be nice. I think that, that would just make a big difference to at least just have like a little bit of symmetry between these pots and then over it. You know what I mean? Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming, did you? Well, what do we think? The lighting's not great. It's getting a little bit dark out here. I got a lot done though. Nothing's planted or what I would consider to be like in their permanent place, except for these bird of paradise back here. Those should be staying there. I like them in these pots. They were in there last year. I thought they looked nice and they have a very nice, you know, shape to them and everything. It, I just like them. I don't need to explain that part. But I did have also some alacaja luteas in these pots and they really stretched and leaned forward. It wasn't quite enough light for them. I did realize though, I was doing some thinking and I was like, you know what? If I were to move these pots down like two feet, that would, they would be in pretty much full sun. <laughs> like just a little scoot that way. But then it just everything would feel a little bit off. Like the, I like them following this curve over here where they come over and they kind of flow down to the fountain area, Tucker's little drinking fountain, which I've surrounded with some more bromeliads. There's some Chinese fan palms back there. And they're kind of hard to see, but there are some Kiwi Cordelin fruticasas back there. There's another one tucked up here behind that bromeliad. And like I said, though, I think it would really just mess with the flow a little bit too much if I did things that way. This lighting, I don't like the lighting. I need to make an adjustment. This isn't how things look in person. Not what I'm seeing in my viewfinder. Is that better? Can anybody tell a difference? I can tell a difference. I also have the Hooperiana palm in the back here. There was a, what was there? The teddy bear magnolia. So I pulled that out. That really shouldn't have been back there in that shade anyways. The Hooperiana is gonna look better there. It is kind of like a scraggly, spindly, just sort of wonky looking palm, but I'm okay with having that in the background. There's something kind of airy and nice about that. But there is something about that also bugs me a little bit. I haven't quite put my finger on it, but I do like it here. So that's probably going to stay. The Chinese fan palms, those are going elsewhere. Same thing with 
a lot of these plants actually. The bromeliads I had intended on doing something else with, but I'm not gonna lie, I like, I'm absolutely loving the way they look over here. These are Neorigelia Fireball or L. Would I? I can't remember. Either way, they're varieties that can take a decent amount of sun. The more light they get, the more their color will kind of lighten up or darken up, really. They'll get more and more red the more and more light that they get. And they just, man, they look so freaking cool, don't they? For right now, that's where they're staying because I have to still wait for some more plants to come in from the greenhouse, like my bigger palm trees, where I store things until I can really get moving with a lot of like actual heavy planting with annuals and tropicals and whatnot that these are not I don't consider those annuals don't worry but yeah for the most part I just moved more stuff out from the garage I brought all the bromeliads out and the palms and gingers and then there's some um, luteas starting to come up and do their thing from last year and I got all the hibiscus down there and some diplodinias that are gonna go around something else later it's just you know I did all the stuff I am really liking my little slice of Polynesia over here. This probably won't change too much with the exception stuff in the background. The Thai Constellation Monstera will be back there when that's ready to come out and I have a bunch of other little aeroids that'll be tucked in around everything and like I said those fan palms won't be there. The fan palms like they don't really you can't really even see them back there. Same thing with the cordolins. I actually probably shouldn't even have put those cordolins back there because I'm gonna have them in pretty intense sun so that's gonna be a setback for them. I might pull those out in the morning. Right now, I like it. In a few weeks, the magnolia in the center there will be re replaced with a large Adenidia palm. It has two trunks on it, and I will underplant that with a bunch of flowers and those sorts of things. And then might do begonias in these two pots. I have them. I'm not certain if that's what I'm gonna use or not. I'm still thinking about that one. Because I did that last year, and they were beautiful, but they got so big that it was actually kind of a bit much kind of it was a kind of a bit you know what I'm trying to say and uh but that could be solved which is pruning just making sure that they get their prune in like mid-July would probably handle that and keep it from going on too far and then there will be heliconias I'm just having a lot of fun sitting back thinking about the plants right now there's still like one day forecasted coming up where they're saying it might get up or drop down to around 47 or so then that's like not really gonna kill anything but it's still low enough where there are a few plants that I don't really want to move out because like I may as well just wait one more week for that to that weather to pass but it's supposed to be like 86 tomorrow and that's supposed to cool off again into like the 60s and 50s but it's just what it is this has been a very weird spring it's taken its sweet time getting moving but that's okay I mean there's it's not like I don't have time right now right Plenty of time to get stuff done. Oh, and I could probably move my orchids out and start getting those hung up on those trellises back there. I was thinking about doing a wire instead of the trellis and running, see where those terracotta pots are right behind my finger, running a really tense wire through there to hang them on. Just because I think if they're a little bit further forward, they would get more light and probably be better flowers. Flower, There would be more flowers on them if they get more light. That's what I was trying to say. It's getting a little bit shady back there, which is nice for some of the things that are back on those trellises but um they also look a little bit junky so i could either paint them black and they would blend in a little bit more or i mean once you cover them with the orchids you can't even you can't even see them anyway so that doesn't really matter traditionally in this area back here i like to use toby stop sorry toby's licking my leg i like to use plants that are variegated or have lighter colors in the background because that pulls your eye back see how those fan palms they do really blend into things like I said, they're not intended to stay there anyways, but I just thought that was a good place to keep them for the time being. But once there are plants back there that have wider foliage, that's going to pull the eye back and it's going to actually make this entire space right here look a little bit larger because it's going to outline everything as opposed to just having that dark backdrop. Oh, the Stramanthes, the Trio Stars. Those are going to be tucked back here. That's going to be beautiful. I can't wait to get that set up and done. I know that this isn't like the longest vlog. I'd say true to the nature of the vlogs though, we've been all over the place. I actually have been receiving a lot of plants this week, so I've spent a lot of time unpacking things and washing my hands and unpacking things and washing my, it's been, it takes a lot longer when you're being really, really, really careful. So every time the plants show up, I don't even bring them back here. I unpack everything over in my driveway 
and then get those boxes into the recycling and then I wipe the sides of the pots down on everything and then I move those over into an area where I make sure to give them a heavy rinse and then I pull them back and move them to whether they need to go into the shade or into the sun and then it just it takes a long time where you're not just cutting boxes open and pulling the plants out so that was time consuming but that's okay because it's just it's more stuff to play with see it's got some more sun patients over there what else came the um, some cordolins that are in the back and then there's those diplodinias that are down over there and there were a couple hibiscus and a whole there's a whole bunch of annuals a few perennials and um, some heliconias over here. The lady dies. See the beautiful variegated foliage on those? Those are stunning. Yeah, so uh, while I'm not probably going to be doing unboxings for the time being, because I haven't really decided how I feel about unboxing videos with what's going on right now, I, it's that's a whole big, we don't need to go into all that. I figure maybe, uh, I, I mentioned, I think in the last vlog that I would just do like a dedicated video to tucking all the annuals into everything and that sort of thing or maybe like once I have most of everything received then like can talk about some of the plants I'm working with I don't know just gonna play it by ear when it comes to all that I'm right now I'm just kind of focusing on trying to have some fun in the garden now that I don't really have to worry as much about the cold there's still like I said there's one day that looks a little bit fishy and I think it's like May 7th or May 9th I can't remember but that's a ways off so hopefully that will change and I'll be able to start moving even more plants out <laughs> you just spent a ridiculous amount of time saying that if I could record my phone screen's wide angle lens in place of not having a wide angle lens for this camera I'd like to get a wide angle lens for this camera this this one right here this one but it's like $2,500 so that's not happening but no there's no focus on here it doesn't want to behave that would have been kind of cool though wouldn't it I mean not really kind of pointless my brain has officially stopped doing this is weird let's go back to talking about plants pull off the tripod here well I do have a 20 millimeter lens it's a Sigma DG f1.4 it's a beautiful fantastic lens but uh, it, it's a fixed lens so I can't you can't do this with it you know the focal length is fixed and it's made for a Canon I use a Sony there's an adapter that you can use uh, but what they don't tell you when you're buying the Sony and they're saying oh you can put this adapter on here to use the Canon lens what they don't tell you is that if you use autofocus there's a clicking sound throughout everything you do it's really really annoying I was kind of mad when I found that out because I wouldn't have probably spent the money on that 20 millimeter lens if I'd known that was going to happen but any that I digress sort of actually I'd like to keep talking about it but there's no point nobody cares that, that's just a me thing now here's a better look at these fireballs they're looking quite nice see them oh so pretty I don't remember that one's name but it's beautiful this one was like America kind of something or, i don't know it was, it was in a plant haul video i can't remember its name though those are all from a place here in saying what's called plant haven that's where i got those and then there's another big bromeliad hanging up back there that's a bad shot let's try and come around here kind of see that a little bit better look at that one oh it's a big one that's a really nice big bromeliad it isn't the teeny tiniest little pot you know they're epiphytes it doesn't need to they're pot, like the pot doesn't really matter kind of does for stability reasons but i mean if it was small enough to fit in one of these little things that tells you something right and here's a better look at the lady die heliconias i've grown these for a long time i got two more in the mail but um i have some in the garage that are waking up from dormancy so there's plenty of those the lady die has these red and yellow flowers on them or bracts really they're one of my favorites i had some andromedas heliconia andromeda on order but I don't know they didn't show up they were they got x out of the order that happens sometimes these um sun patients they're looking a little bit ragged but you know shipping that happens those are tropical rose variegated compact sun patients now some more things going on over here and over here what am i doing i said we'd talk about this next week Does anything over here look different though the brush pile's gone yeah isn't that good so this is one of the reasons I hadn't finished moving the plants out yet was because I was when I moved them out they need to go into the shade and right here is where I normally would put them but there was a magnolia tree here so the people came and collected that today so I got that spot back so I'm gonna start moving the plants back out again I ran out of room there just there wasn't anywhere to put anything so 
now I can get back in motion with all that, finally. Yeah, you see, there's still, there's still plenty of plants that need to move, be moved out. I have the plastic pulled down partially so I could get to pulling them out, but yeah, there's still, there's still a lot of stuff in there. Uh, that's okay. I mean, I normally wouldn't have them out yet anyways. Usually, like, next week is when I start moving them out, so I'm already ahead of the game. Things are going a little bit fast this year, actually. Just doesn't really feel like it. I think just because fall was so ridiculous fall was colder than winter here so it just feels like it's been a really really long winter but it hasn't it just feels that way i'm gonna dig this up and move it i don't know how but i'm gonna figure it out it's gonna be difficult because this plant is lethal i mean it's not one to mess with but it just doesn't fit here it's driving me crazy i don't like it here it's gotta go i mean i'm not gonna get rid of it I'm gonna actually tuck it back into that corner so that it'll be visible through that window because this will have more of a slender growth to it. And it really shouldn't get too much bigger than this. It's supposed to be contorted. And I think that what's happened is sometimes plants that have contortion to them, if that's what, how, you, how I would describe that, sometimes they lose that. So I could prune those off to get it back into its contorted shape like you can kind of sort of see going in there like inside the branches. And I think that would be so pretty outside that window over there. And it's slim and slender and it has neat interest during the winter time and then the flowers and the fruit it would be so nice to crack those windows open during the spring and have the smell of the citrus flowers in the house. That'd be fantastic. It doesn't fit here anymore. So I'm going to figure that out at some, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Normally with something like this, I would wrap it in towels and blankets and newspaper, but those thorns will stab right through all that. So I'm going to try and hold on to some of the cardboard that's been coming in the mail, like make like a cardboard duct tape cage to put around it so I can safely get around it and dig in. Yeah. Fun plants. I'm having fun planning things. I haven't really been doing the things, but I'm having fun planning them. He's throwing a little bit of a fed, aren't you? You want some food? You ready for your food? He's like, excuse me. Dinner time was an hour ago. Feed me. No, I mean, it was actually a very productive week. Just not quite what I'd planned on, but that's okay. I mean, this alone, I'm happy with this. And then I got the veggies going down here and... That's all good stuff. Like I said, I'm gonna pull a different planter down there to put some corn and some other things in, and it's just nice to be outside. The air is so fresh and clean, and the thing, the all of the. It's just, I mean, come on now, look at, I, I'm so happy to be outside right now, just to chill. That's what I'm probably gonna do this weekend. Cause it's supposed to be really nice out, at least tomorrow. That is, video comes out. It's supposed to be in the mid to upper 80s, and uh, I'm have some things I'm gonna be working on that will be out. Tuesday, hopefully, and then next week, maybe some of the things I talked about while we were down there will happen. I don't know. I got to keep watching the forecast to really plan things out uh, in a, like a responsible manner. Also, I did decide when I planted this magnolia up, I put one of the Dolce gumdrops on one side and peach berry orange on the other side. I, I don't, it's not, not working for me. The orange has got to go and I'm going to put another one of those Dolce. I have another one, so I didn't have to buy it, but that's, it just doesn't make sense. Why did I do that? Does that ever happen to you put a planter together and then like a month later you go, um, no. I think that it would be pretty in the fall time to do the orange, but I don't want to be reminded of fall all like summer, you know? Because I like, me and fall, eh, we don't really get along. I have some resentment towards fall. I'd rather not be reminded of it all the time. How's everybody doing? What's everybody been up to? Has life been okay? Everybody hanging in there, doing all right? Every day is just a little bit different, isn't it? That's all right. This is only going to get prettier. I'm so excited. Especially once the palm trees come. Like, I don't know, probably in the next three weeks, maybe four weeks, then that's like really the icing on the cake. So everything really starts to come together. And uh, I'm hoping at some point because uh, I wanted to work more perennials into the garden this year but most of the perennials I want to work with are shrubs and they're big and bulky and not really for shipping so uh, that's all just up in the air and that's okay I'm just going with the flow of things okay one more random thought I can't guarantee that there might be more random thoughts I toyed around with the idea of putting a fish tank back behind here I have an empty 75 gallon and an empty 90 gallon and a 45 gallon and a 36 and i have a lot of tanks in my basement and i was like that would look cool tucked back there in the shade but tanks outside i've done it before 
they're a pain when it comes to the algae. Even if you put like a UV sterilizer on them and you have maximum filtration, even if they're in the shade, they're a pain. And uh, the glass would crack during the winter time. Even I, like I would still drain it, but still need to pull the tank inside because the cold would mess with the seal and everything. So. I don't know if that's going to happen. I'm not really sure why I brought it up, but that's just something else I was thinking about. Like I said, the wheels are turning and that's a lot of fun. You look at you, you're so happy. You're such a happy boy. Oh, and I know what you're probably thinking when I had the camera over here, the variegation on variegation. I know it's a bit much. I get it. I'll fix it. Don't worry. Actually, I think that that does look kind of beautiful, but it also, it is a lot. That ginger will probably be going up there and won't be staying there and i don't know if that's going to stay there either because I, I didn't really acclimate that one to much light this bromeliad so i'm gonna need to keep an eye on that tomorrow and that was just kind of a for funsies i was like hey that looks really pretty in that pot and then it just ended up right there but um light might be i think i might need to tuck it back a little bit into the shade for a couple weeks before having it there i don't think it's quite ready for it yet the other bromeliads are pretty much acclimated to the sun at least for over here, they'll get morning light. But uh, this one right here, though, I haven't really acclimated this one yet. I just kind of pulled it out and I was like, oh, you look nice there. And just, it was impulsive. So I'm going to need to make sure to move that or scoot the table over them underneath right now so it gets a little bit more shade. That might be what I do. It is really pretty there. And I think just kind of shading it a little bit would make a big difference with all of that. Anyways, it's it's time to go. I gotta wrap this up and get this video edited. Good boy, Toby. Uh, comment down below. Say hi. Big plans this weekend. Uh, not me. Staying home. Staying safe. This fountain has lights in it. But I'm wondering if the lights are what's been messing up the electricity out here. You know, it's something I've been talking about. Probably in this vlog. My brain's kind of scrambled as to what happened in this video versus the other ones this week. I completely forgot that I released a video just yesterday. I opened up my YouTube app this morning. I was like, what are all these comments? I went, oh my gosh, I, for I completely forgot. My brain and the multitasking aren't really going hand in hand, and I'm usually a pretty good multitasker. Not so much this week. But yeah, the lights, they're beautiful. They change colors. Uh, they're just like some really cheap, cheap, cheap submersible lights that I got off of Amazon and and I've tested for stray voltage in here haven't noticed anything like the, maybe my voltage meter is not working but I I feel like when those lights aren't plugged in I haven't been having the electrical issues but that could just be a coincidence because this light up here also it turned off for like four hours last night for no reason and the power went out over here again so I don't know like I'm pretty sure I mentioned this outlet that you can't see but it's behind that palm frond i've tested it it's getting power but things don't work are there any electricians out there let me know can you can you tell me what to do how do i fix it without also electrocuting myself this needs more seashells yeah that's better i don't know could also use some coconuts too okay no it's time to go i hope everybody's doing well i keep saying it because i mean it all the youtube stuff down there you know the drill and of course as always and most importantly everybody keep on growing bye bye